It took a day to declare that his mood over the Mueller report had changed but an unfolding list of questions has left Donald Trump facing more political trouble. On Friday he used Twitter to disparage parts of the reporter's bullshit, saying sections had been constructed to make him look bad while others looked good. He called it the crazy Mueller report, said it was written by haters, and filled with statements that are fabricated. But the early morning tweets appeared to be a reluctant concession that his game over declaration made 24 hours earlier, when a redacted version of special counsel Robert Mueller's report was published, had been premature. It read to testify, it was not necessarily for me to respond to statements made in the report about me, some of which are total bullshit. This was an illegally started hoax that never should have happened, A. Eh? Donald J. Trump at real Donald Trump April 19, 2019 Instead, attention moved to 10 instances identified during the investigation where Mr. Trump appeared to direct attempts to obstruct justice. Those, including asking for Mr. Mueller to be sacked, ultimately failed because staffers would not carry out his orders. Some refused and others quit. The 10 matters led Mr. Mueller to conclude that while he thought a criminal prosecution of a sitting U.S. president was not possible, he could not exonerate Mr. Trump, saying Congress had the necessary authority to examine his conduct. Mr. Trump, however, stuck to his script that he had been vindicated and appeared to suggest revenge. Big, fat, waste of time, energy and money $30 million to be exact. It is now finally time to turn the tables and bring justice to some very sick and dangerous people who have committed very serious crimes, perhaps even spying or treason. This should never happen again. Donald J. Trump at real Donald Trump April 19, 2019 Democratic Senator and 2020 presidential hopeful Elizabeth Warren on Friday cited Mr. Mueller's report as grounds for impeachment and said it was time to put aside party differences on Capitol Hill by impeaching the president for obstructing the special counsel's investigation. The Mueller report lays out facts showing that a hostile foreign government attacked our 2016 election to help Donald Trump and Donald Trump welcomed that help. Once elected, Donald Trump obstructed the investigation into that attack. Elizabeth Warren at a Warren April 19, 2019 Mueller put the next step in the hands of Congress. Congress has authority to prohibit a president's corrupt use of his authority in order to protect the integrity of the administration of justice. The correct process for exercising that authority is impeachment. Elizabeth Warren at a Warren April 19, 2019 The severity of this misconduct demands that elected officials in both parties set aside political considerations and do their constitutional duty. That means the House should initiate impeachment proceedings against the President of the United States. Elizabeth Warren at a Warren April 19, 2019 Her call came several hours after House Judiciary Committee Chairman Gerald Nadler issued a subpoena to obtain the full report into Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election, saying he cannot accept a redacted version that leaves most of Congress in the dark. My committee needs and is entitled to the full version of the report and the underlying evidence consistent with past practice. The redactions appear to be significant. We have so far seen none of the actual evidence that the special counsel developed to make this case, Mr. Nadler said in a statement. The revelation in Mr. Mueller's report that he has referred evidence from 12 unidentified cases to law enforcement agencies for consideration of prosecution means the Mueller probe's reach is not over. The cases could involve Mr. Trump's business dealings, the actions of his son Donald Trump Jr. in setting up a meeting with Russians who promised dirt on Hillary Clinton. They could also target specific Russians involved in Moscow's 2016 election meddling effort. One possible indication is the redactions in Mr. Mueller's report. 
The largest amount of blacked out information relates to Moscow's interference activities, hacking by the GRU intelligence agency and social media manipulation by the Internet Research Agency, a St. Petersburg-based troll farm. Criticism of Mr. Trump was not confined to Democrats. Mitt Romney, a Republican senator and former presidential candidate, said, I am sickened at the extent and pervasiveness of dishonesty and misdirection by individuals in the highest office of the land, including the president. I am also appalled that, among other things, fellow citizens working in a campaign for president welcomed help from Russia, including information that had been illegally obtained, that none of them acted to inform American law enforcement and that the campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, was actively promoting Russian interests in Ukraine, updated, April 20, 2019, 5.15 a.m. Let's Blog Ads. Why?